mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. <laughs> I don't know about that, trainer. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. First of all, I want to thank everyone for leaving a like. Um, those of you who did leave a like, it was really nice to see. We may actually go ahead and do the DLCs. I'm planning, at least right now, to do Arya's at the end, because I don't think it matters. It's just taking back Omega. I don't think story-wise it matters. We're going to be doing the Citadel towards the end, and then it makes more sense to do Leviathan sooner than later. However, <laughs> um, doing that one on insanity mode scares me. So I think we'll level up a little bit more before we tackle that one. So um, please, 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 if you're join enjoying this series, leave a like. What are we doing? <laughs> uh, let's look at the journal. Uh, I hate how it goes in the middle. It's just like start at the top. Okay, well, this isn't my favorite journal anyway. Like, I, I don't know why this is a later game. It's the more technology. I feel like everything should just be better in the next version, but this, this journal is horrible. Okay, so, um, yeah, I think we want to do the scientists first. Um, we need some Reaper Core fragments. Um, now, I know I miss a lot of this stuff. I always I always have. I don't know why I can't seem to find a lot of the things um, in, you know, in the missions. Like, the, I believe that the server ciphers also are part of like you find it in a mission and I don't know why I can't find them but I do know that if you miss it you can go ahead and um, uh, just buy it at the um, what do you call it the specter the specter office thing so um, this one I need to buy oh that's right so before we do that we're gonna head over to this Citadel because there's a lot of people who want to meet with us, play with us, <laughs> and uh, all that fun stuff. So let's go to the Citadel first. I'm not sure where the... There it is. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? No, thanks. I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Now, I'll start from the bottom, work my way up. That's right. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Zani. It's a low-gravity planet. Toxic atmosphere. You'll be expected to maintain full survival gear. Alright. Garrus is over here. Let's talk to him first. Shepard, oh. if you're feeling up to it, yeah. I thought we could do something fun for a change. Alright. I thought I heard them continue. Maybe I left too soon. Okay. Just let me know when you're ready to take a break. Let's go. Shepard, glad Hi. you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. That's hard to find these days. I suppose we could catch a Hanar poetry reading. <laughs> no offense, but if the end of the galaxy is coming, I'm not going out on the phrase, this one feels like a flower. <laughs> so? So, I had an idea.
we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Some things never change, do mm, they? They don't. Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Nice. That's my Garrus. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? <laughs> you obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. Yeah, you're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we? Yeah, I think that he was on most of those missions, if not all of them. I love my Garrus. All right. I think that ride's been rough on you, Garrus. You got a new scar every time I see you. Losing a step there in your old age. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your hand if you haven't been killed before. Touche. <laughs> now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. <laughs> no. Yeah. Carrion, you're going down. Touche. And don't worry. I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. <laughs> Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. Yeah. Well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> Uh -oh. This area is off limits. You're trespassing in an official Citadel zone. So, do we give a damn about regulations now? Hell no. How about a high speed chase before we die? <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't I don't remember that part. Is that a mod or is that like because they chose different options? <laughs> All right, that was fun. Garrus is so much fun. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Let's see if there's anybody to talk to here. I'll cut out anything that's not anything. Oh, Tactus. We do need to uh, talk to Tactus. So let's do that. I'm sorry if anybody can hear my uh, my washing machine. No, actually, it's my dryer. I have my dryer. I'm doing laundry. <laughs> uh, where is Tactus? Tactus is in six. One too many. There. I guess that makes Tell sense you. over by the You're doctor. Commander Shepard. Yeah. And you must be Tactus. Are the refugees consider you their leader? Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. C 
CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Chalkwist spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. My mission is our only hope to turn back the Reapers. I need every edge I can get, and that includes your equipment. Yeah. And the supplies I have to offer are just what your people need. Think this through, Tactus. Okay, okay, I see your point. Of course you do. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll mm. have your supplies as soon as possible. I love like the the outfits, you know, like the that's the one thing that I do like. I mean some of the outfits are a little weird looking, but a lot of them are really cool. I think they could have done a little better with the um dresses they put the girls in in the hospitals because like you know, you see them sitting it with you know, their legs spread out and they're wearing a short dress. It's like, uh Yeah, that's not a common thing that happens. <laughs> Girls sit down in public <laughs> in a hospital, but they're it's very cool. See, like just these different, um, different outfits that they've got on. You, I have to get the Reaper codes to you, don't I? I don't think I have anything here. Let's just go ahead. Oh, wait, Cole, yeah, I talked to him. Miranda, yes. That's right. I do have to talk to Miranda. Huh? Oh, she's just looking for her. Her wife, if I'm not mistaken? Alright. Good to see you're alright, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. Yeah. What? Why? What do you think? I heard a rumor. <laughs> maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. I wish I could help, but too many lives are depending on me. Oh, crap. I know. I'm not asking for your help. I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. Okay. Keep me posted. I will. I might have screwed it up. Well, you know what? This is Renegade, okay? This is Renegade, guys. <sighs> I'm distracted, can you tell? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, okay, uh, justice for Bahak activists. A Batarian activist, justice for Bahak has demanded that you should be brought to trial for committing genocide in the Bahak system. Ah. And for your frequent racist actions against the Batarian people. Unsurprisingly, the activists are courting the media attention, and though they are unlikely to achieve their aims, their activities are risk to our fragile galactic unity. 
Spectre authorization would begin a smear campaign which will discredit their leadership and turn Batarian refugees against them. Smear campaign. I mean, I'm not liking the sound of that, but I mean, she, come on. She is, she's renegade. That's something a renegade would do. Okay. Um, hack di- diplomatic schedules. A coalition of independent colonies, mega corporations, and politically unimportant races, unimportant races? has formed in the wake of a coup. These factions have been content to let the council fight the war alone, but now fear their complacency will lead to their ruin. They intend to offer military and economic support, but their attempts to pledge these have been sidelined by a council that's in disarray. With your authority, diplomatic VIs could be hacked to force negotiations to take place through a breach of Citadel law. Uh, This move could potentially save billions. Yeah, of course. Um, Biological attack on Parthia. With the calm buoy blackout and the Turian hierarchy's reluctance to provide details of their operations, we have struggled to learn that what's happening in their empire. However, our VIs have pieced together evidence via refugee interviews, surveillance drones, and hacking of an atrocity committed on Parthia. The data paints a gruesome picture. General Timis Orlos was transferred to Parthia to command the colonial militia in their guerrilla war against the reapers after weeks of losing ground and witnessing the whole military divisions betraying him he deployed by warfare agents on the unindoctrinated command centers this rash action had some success across the southern hemisphere traders divisions trader divisions were slaughtered and the risk of indoctrination infiltration was severely reduced. Victory quickly turned to defeat when the jet stream carried the bioweapon across the continent, killing hundreds of thousands of innocent colonists. Our evidence suggests that General Orelos ignored weather warnings before ordering the attack. If correct, then General Orlos is guilty of breaching Tier 2 of the Citadel Conventions Agreement post-war. There will be an inquiry, but for now, Parthia will be under strict biological quarantine, and the colony is expected to capitulate the to the enemy. Black market in the refugee fleet. The refugee situation grow worse by the day. I think it should be the refugee situation grows worse by the day. We've tried to use the media to present refugee life positively, but the weight of dire news is gravely impacting citizens and refugees. Early on, there was a growth spike as people volunteered to do anything to help the war effort. But studies reveal that Productivity on the wards has dropped by almost 30% since the coup. This reduces beyond 40% in the flotilla. As traumatized refugees are trapped in an environment that discourages hope, recovery, and stimulation, opportunists are exploiting this by forming a black market, while other criminal activities are further destabilizing the flotilla's fragile society. Hacking onboard systems has revealed the extent of the problem. Food, Medigel, and alcohol are the most commonly traded commodities, but we've noticed the trade of chemicals, weapons, illegal mods, and other objects and favors. Illegal substances of note are... Creeper, a hallucinogenic drug that was grown on Sethar. Halix, induces extreme euphoria and heightened senses in the user. Malarian, Batarians and Drell are buying this antibiotic. Oh, it's an antibiotic? Why is that illegal? We've arranged a meeting with CSEC and fleet captains to discuss how to handle this issue. All right. Let's go. If you start selling weapons to everyone on this... We're at war. If the Citadel gets attacked again, everybody needs to fight. The commander's right. 
It's not like those Reaper things care about hurting civilians. But selling weapons to just anyone makes it easier for groups like Cerberus to get a hold of them. Cerberus attacked the Citadel with military-grade weapons and powered armor. I doubt they need one of my pistols. Okay, you're right. Just... just be careful. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Our customer service and Agor Munitions. In Welcome to Cipertine Armory. We appreciate Thank you. technology. Neither should you. Her name is Tasha Poray. Of course. P O R A E. Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Yeah, sorry. Where do I find those things for that? You want my security vids? Bring me a warrant. You're stonewalling me? Those vids. I can't support that guy. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you. Yeah. I have some high profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting out to CSEC, you think I care about you? Yeah. Trading? Electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attacked you. Yeah. All right. Jerk. Who cares about your rich customers? Nobody. How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Yeah. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Send me a set we've, of We've armor. heard this already. It's, I love that conversation though. All right. No, the problem is that our people are terrible at making war. The library and Asha have sacred texts on the way. Okay. Here, Jack. Yes, I knew there was something else. This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They're dropping us into hot spots for hit and runs. I'm making sure your bosses don't get my kids killed. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. I know it's not fun, but you're doing good work. And it sounds like your students are helping. Damn right they're helping. Hell, we even saw some action on Palavin. They broke a line of those Batarian things. I think Prangley punted one into orbit. <laughs> Even Rodriguez kept her shit together. Glad to hear it. Also helped the Turians get a few thousand civilians out safely. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. Yeah. I blame you for this, Shepard. Go ahead. It's a good change. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. I love that part. I think I've done it already. I don't know if I got it on an episode where I posted or if I... I don't think I did, but I think I did it on the episode that I just don't know what I did with. <laughs> That's all right. Even if you guys saw it again, it's worth it, right? That's an awesome part. Hey! Oh, I forgot to talk to... All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. I forgot to talk to Edie. Is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look is it now? If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. Maybe. That's surprisingly observant. <laughs> I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? 
You know, with all this interest in eating, <laughs> it's possible you've overlooked other options. Uh... I, I never really considered it, Commander. No offense. Forget it. So, you and Edie. Well, yeah. What do you think? I'm not gonna mess Why it not? up. Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. <laughs> always a risk. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. <laughs> you know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. All right, let's go check it out. I, I, she's right in the corner here. I missed her. And she doesn't talk to her, talk to you once she's not I'm dancing. But... That's a start. All right. Well, darn. Okay. Let's head up to the ship. I mean, did we talk to people last time? I don't remember. Cerberus is gonna have a hard time recruiting now. Edie showed me vids of the Banshees. That's messed up. Yeah. None of the Reaper's victims come out looking pretty. Well, yeah, mutating people to turn them into living weapons is one thing. But the yelling, why make them yell? It's totally <laughs> uncalled for. Totally. Commander. Commander. All right. I figured as much. Let's see. Um I think I've spoken with everybody. Let's just see if Liara has anything to say. I think it was only Joker. If I uh, my memory is so bad. Chuck was You always pull through, Commander. I do. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medigel delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. Okay. Check with Glyph. Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the information network terminal. Um, health bonus, please. I like my scars. Liara, do you have anything Thanks to say? Coming by. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Trainer. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? We'll go meet with Liara before. Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Oh, an actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? The most exciting thing you can think of is playing chess. Well, if you're not up for the challenge, try me. I mean, what else can we do on the ship? I mean, we're on the ship. Ha! Oh, come on. <laughs> My word, Commander. 
It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line like the Krogan can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other writes your performance reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling defensive, Commander? It's almost as though you're having trouble adjusting to a new environment with a new set of rules. Point taken, trainer. Congratulations on adjusting to life outside the lab. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. All right. Allers, come on up. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus' strength in the coup attempt was their sleeper agents. If those agents had been exposed, a lot of lives might have been saved. We need constant vigilance. C-Sec and the troops can't do this alone. We've lost a major portion of our government, the most obvious human figure being the Counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? That's an irresponsible and dangerous question to ask in the middle of a war. We're done here. <laughs> but... We're done. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battle Space. Good night, and stay strong. Well, I suppose I could have played that better. I'm sure you're not fond of me right now, but I asked the question millions of people are asking. Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> Oh, is there somebody else? Oh, James! James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, Lola. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or... Did you think about it before accepting? I'm a soldier, Vega. And I wanted to be the best damn soldier I could be. It doesn't get better than N7. So I hear. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I lot to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. 
We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. As a leader, you've got a job to do. Keeping everyone alive isn't it. If you're afraid to send your troops into a do-or-die situation, you'll never succeed. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Um... Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are it's a little too soft for me. <laughs> the bed's a lot harder than it looks. Are you flirting with me, Lola? <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. Alright. Oh, he's just gonna sit there, isn't he? Yeah. Alright. Hey, Thane. You can hang out there if you want. We're gonna go to a new mission. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Oh, okay. That's just the thing. <laughs> okay. You've got new messages, Commander. Oh my gosh. All right, I guess this is the answer to what we just did. Let's find out what happened. Citadel advocates have withdrawn from the activist group Justice for Bahak after a scandalous expose revealed that ringleaders had invested in the slaving rings on Ligasari, Ligasiri, a planet infamous for having the most horrifying slave conditions in the galaxy. The reporter who broke the story was, of course, it was Kalissa Jelani from uh, Western London News. A woman who, until recently, was infamous for her interviews with Commander Shepard and for her antagonistic attitude to all interviewees. Following the expose, CSEC has taken justice for Bahak into custody for violating numerous sapient rights laws. In an unexpected twist, there has been a noticeable increase of Batarian volunteers on the Citadel, many citing a need to prove their people worthy of Citadel production after their leaders have repeatedly sourced their relations with the rest of the galaxy worthy of Citadel protection after their leaders have repeatedly soured their relations with the rest of the galaxy. True. Okay, so Trainer wants to have lunch and drinks in the casino. So we do need to go to... I think we've done enough. In fact, I don't think we're going to go meet with... Well... Yeah, we're just doing a side mission, so we're going to meet with Liara next time just because I've done so much. I feel bad I missed that, but let's just go ahead and do this uh, ex-scientist and then we'll be done. Next time we'll go ahead and talk to Liara and maybe head down to the strip. Hmm. We'll take Garrus. And I think let's take Edie. We're good there. Alright, so we'll keep the guns the same for now. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have not been provided many details. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a server squad engaging the supply depot. The mod for Edie's Edie skin needs to be better, because half the time I'm she has skin right. on, half the time Sounds she doesn't. Like the troops are on the way. 
It could be something I did wrong, but... I didn't actually plan on having skin on her to begin with, so... <laughs> that was something that I selected wrong. Wow, that's a puffy hood. It makes more sense that they're not wearing Cerberus gear, except of course this dude, Jacob. Because they've ran away from Cerberus, why would they continue to wear the uniforms? Um no Cerberus abandoned I, this place. It's freezing. Alright, just keep moving. What do these people do to bring this down on their heads? Alright. Let's look around really quick before we rescue Jacob. Is this where I came from? No, this is a Cerberus ship. Interesting. I don't think I ever went up there. Okay. Sorry, Jacob. Just looking around. You moved in a very non human way. Very sus. Mm. Get that guy. Stop running away from me. Loser. Ooh, that got both of them. Enemy neutralized. Look for survivors. All right. Whoops. Oh, I just want to look around before I talk to him. Uh, hello. Who's there? Nobody. Certainly not me. Certainly not Commander Shepard. All right. Jacob! How bad? I'll live. I think. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob! Oh my god! Uh, I'm alright. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's you on already the house. do. Hey, yo. Good to see you, too. Staying out of trouble, I see. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, no, she's... but the themes are the same. 
changed. We were each using information from the collector base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Hope you kick Cerberus in the balls on the way out the door. Yeah. We took everything we could carry. Destroyed what we couldn't. You had to know they were gonna find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. All right. Jacob did not recognize me. This may be an opportunity to surprise him. Let's just focus on the mission, Edie. Good idea. I'm gonna do it. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. No. She's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. I know you. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer. We met on Court Yes, I remember. That's one way of putting it. Yes, well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I don't know anything about that. Sorry. Oh, God. If anything happens to him, I... It's a little late to start caring yeah, about him now, don't you it think? It really is. David was all I had left. I hoped we might be reunited one day, that I could beg his forgiveness. It will never happen now. A precaution, if I was ever captured by the enemy, or couldn't wake from my nightmare. We both know this is the ending I deserve. Yeah. God be with you, Commander. He was never with me. Um, that's your fault. <laughs> Private message from Horace to Bryn. Bryn, I don't like this. I've managed to get eyes on some of the research the others were doing, and I'm getting a sense of the big picture here, beyond anything we could have imagined. In our worst nightmares kind of imagined. I'm going to start sabotaging my work. That's how bad it is. We need to meet up ASAP. Weapons bench. That's fine. I'm just gonna leave it long. Do I have any? Um, no. No. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. You ran with over 40 people? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? A dangerous choice. So those refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man was... No second guessing. Let's just get these people the hell out of here. Oh, uh, did I miss something? I was looking down. And not one more lost. 
I heard it. Oh, well. We only get one shot at this, so people better pay it's attention fine. and fall in line. Absolutely. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Alright. Personal logs, Bryn Cole. With Jacob's help, we managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were in fact killed. Contracts terminated is what Cerberus called it. Makeda, Scott, Daniel, Chun Hei, Annika, and so many others I didn't even know about. All of them gone. Disappeared without a trace. Just like that. We should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to just stay one more day. What was I thinking? You didn't know. Bryn. Dr. Cole. Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? So, what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. How'd you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. Mm -hmm. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. All right. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I don't I'll know if I asked everything, back. but... Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Personal log, uh, Damini Sengupta. Attempts are ongoing at figuring out what the end product of our research was meant for. While it is obvious that the delivery system was to be implant reliant with evident neurological applications, many questions remain as of yet unanswered. The loss of Dr. Horace Armstrong in particular is hindering our efforts to speedily reconstruct the nature of the elusive man's goals. We have several parts of the whole, which lead us to chilling conclusions, but we are nowhere near figuring out what said whole might be. And that's a weird sentence. And that is what scares me the most. Remain calm. All right, that's where we came from. Poison tailored to Turians. Yes, I got it. <laughs> Some kind of poison tailored. What would these people have done if we hadn't shown up? A hastily assembled militia is no match for a service force of any kind. Yeah. 
true. I forgot to talk to... Can I go back? I don't think I can. Let me go back! I forgot to talk to a freaking... Oh, fine. Whatever. Who cares about him? <laughs> Got the jump. Snipe him. Stop it! Where are you? Ouch. Stop it with the fog. Oh, man. I love that effect where it just rips them to shreds. Interesting. Is that it? Wait, are there more? Right on his neck. Uh, there's a body part on my cover. I didn't go down here. Let me make sure there's nothing down here.
I don't understand how they keep hitting me after I'm like not even. Where's the gun? How do we get up there? This way. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Um, well, of course, Edie. Edie, I need you to fix this. I will make the repairs. Ready, Garrus? Let them do their worst. Sorry about the background noise. Got it. Power restored. Gun one reset. Circuit incomplete. The other gun's still down. Let's get over there. Let's get these people out of here. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. 
Your call. Wait for my go. You can begin the evacuation from the command terminal. Got it. All right, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I got that one. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Dang it. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something I could pick up. Punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. I wasn't paying attention. Nice. I thought this is my, my chance to talk to Jacob. <laughs> it's fine. Who cares? All right, everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here. All right. Shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up. Then get out to the landing pad. Understood. Jacob, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Here we go. Okay, let's get these people out of here. I don't think he's wounded, man. I, th I think he's, he's a goner. Jacob, come in. What's your stuff? Ah. Shepard, the facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. We finish. Oh! 
Jacob, hang tight. We'll clear you a landing zone. Come on, get in there. No, no! Okay. I'm gonna die. It died. It blew up just before I got in it! Oh no! Oh, that sucks! I screwed that up, man. That's like my one... one well, I have a couple of, uh... Um... I have another chance. Good. No, I don't. Do I? Yeah, I'm leaving. Um, achievements that I'm trying to get. Getting in one of those things. So close. Shepard! Commander! I think I, I, I couldn't believe that I actually got him out and killed and it blew up. I could have gotten in there before it blew up though. I think that's kind of a glitch, um, and it's a really hard one to do because there's the skin of our teeth again, hey Shepherd. It's really difficult to Nice to see you back in action. To get that to the yeah, point where you can get good. in it and it doesn't blow up on you. We get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. And now there's something you can do for me. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course, but I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is it's important right. to me. You don't have to. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Too bad. Not really. You've used your experience. I have a feeling you'll do all right, Shepard. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. Yeah, I'll be fine without you, you know, Commander, Jacob. I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. All right. Okay. Well, this is a, a bit of a longer one. I think we're, we're done. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Yeah, we'll you will. Do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Cool. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. It'd be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. Mm -hmm. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Shepard out. Yeah, I actually had to stop for lunch, and I forgot when I got back in, I forgot that I didn't talk to Jacob. It's fine, though. All right. That's it for today. Um, Commander, Dr. Chappell sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Again? All right. So next time we're going to talk to our crew. And um, I'd like to... Well, we got to see what else we got to do. So thank you, everybody, for watching.